So I just wanted to do a little recipe tutorial for you today. Back in the summertime especially, I posted all the time about my swamp juice bowls. Um, so I would always get a ton of recipe requests like, oh, what's a swamp juice bowl? Like, what's in it? Blah, 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 blah. So first of all, I'll pop up some pictures on the screen, but it's called swamp juice because it's green. It looks like something you can get in a swamp. It does not taste like the earth or dirt or anything like that. So you like, get that idea out of your head. But yeah, we're gonna do a little recipe today, just a quick one. Um, some things about the things, things about things <laughs> in this video. Um, I did use for the vanilla protein, I did use Vanilla Select from PE Science. Um, and I will pop up all of my discount codes for each product that I have a discount code for below, and then I'll put them in the description box as well. So, <clears throat> PE Science Vanilla Select Protein. Um, and then these, oh my gosh. I used these as a topping. Um, these are Enlightened Crisps. These are the sea salt kind. These are one of my favorite snacks on the planet. Just like for anything. But these are good in swamp juice bowls because it adds like a little bit of salty sweet to it. It adds a little bit of crunch as well. Um, these are also really great on salads. Or I used the wasabi kind to make a sam the crust on salmon before. Um, so like wasabi crusted salmon. But yeah, the sriracha kind are my favorite. But obviously I didn't want like two strange of flavors with a vanilla swamp juice bowl, so I just used the sea salt kind for a little bit of salty sweet, a little bit of crunch. Well, my discount for discount code for these crisps will be right here. Um, and then next up is, I'm not gonna talk about every single ingredient, but there's the main ones that I wanted to explain a little bit more. You can hear Logan drinking his water in the background. Um, the next one is maca powder. So maca powder um, is considered an Incan superfood. Um, maca is great for energy and vitality, um, as well as reproductive health. So if you have reproductive, that's the primary reason I started taking maca powder in the first place, was because it's supposed to help with regulate your reproductive system. So if you deal with menstrual irregularity or anything of that nature, um, you wanna try a more homeopathic approach, maca powder might be a good a good option for you or if you just want to try it in terms of flavor it adds a slightly nutty flavor not super strong just a little something in there in terms of flavor but that is maca powder and then for spirulina um, the spirulina powder is what gives it the swamp juice look it's what makes it green spirulina is a powder I literally got this from I went to the health food store and they have like oh it just got everywhere <laughs> they have like large canisters large glass canisters of a bunch of different, you know, herbs and spices and various supplements and stuff like that. So I just scoop it out and put it in a little bag and took it with me. Um, but this is what it looks like. First and foremost, taking care of it. If you get spirulina powder, um, make sure you keep it in an airtight container and make sure you keep it in a either a dark container or you store it somewhere where it's dark because if you keep it in the light, the sunlight will cause it to oxidize. Um, and we don't want that. So as for the spirulina itself, um, it does have some health benefits to it. Um, it has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties as well as vitamins B1, B2, and then the minerals copper and zinc. Um, like I said, that is what gives it the green look because it is very pigmented green. Um, it doesn't make it taste like the earth, like I said, or anything like that. So if you've ever wondered how I make my swamp juice bowls and if you want to give them a try yourself, then keep watching the rest of this video and I will show you how. Never say enough I'm a little in the middle of this thing called love Wish I could break it off Wish I could turn my back My heart refuses to listen Love doesn't work like that Why can't I get you off my mind? Thinking about making you mine You break me down, I won't survive You know you're killing me once my life Never loved before, but always hoping for somebody like you. There was no one in my life that could do the things you do. You know those moments. 
ones that are missing you Are ones I could be kissing you Cause I'm the one who's wishing You were here, wish I was yours and could be next to you I just can't help but be confused Why can't I get you off my mind? Thinking about making you mine. You break me down. I won't survive. You know you can't. All right, you guys. So that has been it for our swamp juice bowl tutorial. They are super good, super yummy, and I don't know. It just like. It tastes good to eat green. It doesn't taste good. I mean, it does taste good, but it feels good to eat green things. Like you're like, yes, I feel fit. I feel healthy. I feel like I should do yoga and be one with the earth and just hug a tree. Maybe I'll hug a tree. No, it's too cold for that. No, thank you. But yeah. So that has been our little swamp juice tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please please leave a comment below. Um, and if you like these quick little recipe tutorials, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.